Oh. This is way too late. <laughs> <laughs> you do it on this one. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a set an alarm. <laughs> Got a set an alarm to eat. That's crazy. That's crazy. Set an alarm to eat. Like what the fuck? Like what is my life coming to? <laughs> Got a set an alarm to eat. Never would have thought I would hear that in my life. Set an alarm to eat. Wow. Good morning, good morning, you guys. Today is back biceps and abs. It's a little crowded in here, and they're also like rearranging the gym. So I don't even know where stuff is right now. All right, so already kind of warmed up. We're gonna do some stuff on the cables first. Then we're gonna alternate between that and biceps. So let's go ahead and get into our first movement. Normally when I do these, you guys, I have a rope. I don't know where they are. So <laughs> I'm actually gonna be using like a straight bar for these bent over rows that we're gonna be doing. So I'm starting at 65 for my first working set and let's try to do 10 to 12 reps and then go up from there. All right, you guys, we're gonna do set number two. you guys set number three gonna pull the whole stack you know you know how we get down all right see how this feels <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Almost had it. I'm gonna take the weight down and do like two to three more set reps. Okay. All right, you guys, we're gonna do some cable curls. Uh, I'm gonna start at 15 pounds and see how that feels. Oh, this is way too light. <laughs> Let's go up to 25. It's too light. All right. Let's go to 35. All right, here we go. you guys we're gonna do set two I added five more pounds so we're at 40 here Check it one more. Uh, one more. Okay. 
Fuck. All right, you guys, I added five more pounds. So it's puts us at 45. I get one more. Mm. That's it. All right, you guys, we're gonna do some assisted pull ups. Let's knock out a few more. <clears throat> this is hard. <clears throat> well, let me get two more. One more. Mess it. Okay. All right, you guys. Set number two. I lowered the weight even more, so that means less assistance. If I can just knock out one at this assistance, I will be happy. Let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Increase the resistance. <clears throat> Y'all, this is so hard. <laughs> this is so hard. Hey. Right. Right, here we go. <laughs> All right, let me try to get two more. Mm. All right, you guys, we're gonna do some alternating dumbbell curls. All right, you guys, set two, same thing. I'm gonna start with the 35s to failure, then drop down to 30.
If I can find the 25s. They're doing like a whole bunch of moving around of equipment, so. Uh. All right, y'all, I don't see, oh, yes I do, one second. All right, you guys, gonna do set three. I'm not gonna do 35s. They're clearly just too heavy today. So I'm gonna start with 30s and then drop down to 25s once I hit failure on the 30s. Drop down to twenty fives. Easy on this one. <laughs> All right. Um, I got to figure out what we're going to do for back. All right, you guys. We are going to do some lat pull downs. All right. Oh, let me adjust the lat thing. All right. Let's. This is going to be a light set, and then we'll get a little heavier. So let's. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> let's try to at least get. 10 good reps here. Next set will go up. All right, you guys, set number two. I took the weight up. Mm. 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 
Took the weight up. All right, you guys, last set. I moved it up again. Here we go. That's it. Let me take the weight down, do a few more reps. you guys so that concludes back day I'm not gonna lie I was super motivated to go and I went but it was so chaotic in there you guys it kind of just like brought my motivation down one it was crowded which I guess makes sense because it's Memorial Day weekend but two they're doing so much like they're doing, I don't know what they're doing in there. Like they're moving equipment to different sides of the gym. and It's just a whole bunch of stuff going on. So it was like just a little overwhelming. And it just kind of like brought my spirits down, like had to fight for cables. It was just a lot going on. And I'm not going to lie, just kind of like, we got through the workout, but the intensity, the excitement, like it just wasn't all the way there just because of everything that was going on. So we still ended up doing three back exercises and two bicep exercises, so that was cool. And then the turf area was looking crazy where I wanted to do abs and stuff. It's just a lot going on in there. <laughs> like, I can't wait till they're done. I wouldn't even say they're, re they're remodeling, but they're not remodeling. Like, a couple weeks ago, you guys heard all the construction going on because they was knocking down walls and stuff. And there's no more construction going on. They're just, like, moving equipment to different parts of the gym. And it's just annoying because it's like, I don't know where shit is anymore. Like, it's just all over the place. But anyways, they got to do what they got to do. I can't wait for them to be done with whatever it is they're doing so that things can just be normal again. So that's what's going on. But anyways, we still burnt a decent amount of calories in the gym. So today we burned a total of 710 calories and we were only in there for 68 minutes. And that included my warm up my warm up set. So moving very efficiently. I am not mad at it, like at all. Like I love being in and out, getting in a good workout. As y'all can see, like some days we're in there for like an hour and a half. Some days it's an hour. Like it doesn't have to be all of that. It really just depends. But one thing I will say. I have noticed that when it's more crowded, I move more quickly, and I think it just has a lot to do with the fact that I'm trying to beat somebody to a certain spot, <laughs> so I just move, I move with a purpose. I have noticed that about myself, so that is not necessarily a bad thing, but it is annoying, because one thing I've told you all before, I don't like feeling rushed, like that is something that I absolutely hate. I hate feeling rushed, I hate feeling like I'm running out of time, like I hate that feeling. And when it's crowded in a gym, I feel like that. Like, I feel like people are waiting for me to move. I feel like they keep looking to see, like, when am I going to be done so they can get over there. Like, it's just, just messes with my mental a little bit. Not going to lie. But whatever. It is what it is. We got in a good workout. So, uh, and I forgot to check the Memorial Day hours. I would assume it's going to be the same. It's not Christmas, right? It's not Thanksgiving. I feel like hours should be the same dang 
I should have looked. It should be the same. Now, is it going to be crowded this weekend? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Because people are probably going to be off work. <laughs> ah, I didn't even think about that. It probably will be crowded in the morning. Dang, we might have to try. We might have to strive for early morning tomorrow. Because tomorrow is Saturday. We might have to really try to get in here at, I don't know how, but by the grace of God, we got to try to get in here at like 7, hopefully, right? I don't know. I got to I gotta be strategic and plan that out. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and it's glute day. So we got a lot to think about between now and tomorrow morning to figure out when would be the best time to come in here. So anyways, a couple of things. So yesterday or to this morning before I hit the gym, before I ate breakfast, I was feeling super hungry this morning. I accidentally fasted for 20 hours, not on purpose. <laughs> so one thing, one thing that I'm dealing with, with fasting, it's not that I'm, typically I'm not hungry. I was only hungry today because I fasted for 20 hours accidentally. Um, when I'm in my zone, when I'm working, when I'm editing content, I don't realize how fast time goes. Like, I'm not even looking at the clock. I'm literally just in my own zone, editing, uploading, all the things. And when I get home from the gym, so like after I finish this video, I eat my overnight oats on the way home. And then when I get home, I, I take a shower and I immediately get myself together and just start working. There is like a sometimes there's like a five hour window between my overnight oats to my dinner time or last meal, and I still need to squeeze in my protein shake. Basically, I don't have enough time to eat, <laughs> is what I'm saying, because I'm only I'm not eating past 4 p.m., but I'm full throughout my window. So sometimes I forget to eat or I forget that I have to squeeze this meal in at a certain time so that I don't, one, miss my window, and two, I eat close to when the window is closing so that I'm not going to be hungry for the next 16 hours. And yesterday, I failed at that. So I ate my last meal at 2 even though my window closes at four. So it was two hours. And by the time I looked back up, I had missed the window to drink my protein shake. I was like, damn. But I was like, I'm just going to not drink it. Because one, I wasn't even hungry. But I needed to squeeze in those extra calories. I was like, I'm just, I'm just going to skip it. And so didn't eat again for 20 hours, which was this morning. Okay, that was a lot. It basically is my point. That was a lot. And I do like waking up on a super empty stomach. I do like that because immediately when I wake up, I'm not hungry. I don't really start to feel hungry until like an hour and a half into already being up. And then I feel myself getting a little irritated. Not always, but just like a little grouchy. But I don't like starting my day off grouchy. You know what I mean? Because it's still like early in the morning. Like it's still like 7 a.m. My alarm goes off around 5.30 in the morning. 5, 5.30. So I just kind of have to figure out. I guess there's really nothing to figure out. It's more or less just what I've experienced. Yesterday, yesterday into today was the first time I experienced this. Normally, I'm not really experiencing it. And I did experience it the other day when I went to the dentist. The dentist threw off my schedule because the appointment was at the appointment was at nine, but I didn't want to eat before the dentist. And so by the time I got out of the dentist, it was damn near ten ten thirty. So that threw off my window because I normally would have been ate breakfast by then. But either way, like that's something I experienced this morning, and I don't like that. But again, it was for twenty hours instead of my sixteen hour window. So I don't know, y'all. I have to, I guess I just have to get used to it is my point. Because I do eventually want to do the 18 hours not eating and the six hours of eating. 
But it's hard because I'm already eating foods that are full of fiber, like whole foods, which is what I tell you guys to do. So I don't be hungry. Like after I eat, like once I eat my overnight oats, like I'm full, y'all. Like I'm full. And then it's like, you got to try to squeeze in the next meal. You got to try to squeeze in the next meal, even though you're not even hungry. So that's, that's where it gets challenging. And then it's like, you know, if you don't squeeze that in, you're not going to be able to eat again until 16 hours from now. So that part is a little bit of a challenge. I'm not going to lie. Uh... I don't know. If you have any, like, ideas for me, leave them down in the comments. I'm assuming with anything, I'll just kind of get used to it over time. The whole point of intermittent fasting, from what I've researched, is just you're shortening your window so that you can't eat as much, right? And then, yes, after, I think it's after 12 hours, your body starts to pull from fat that's already stored to burn because it's hungry, Or, you know, it's trying to not be hungry. So I understand all of that. But it's just, for me, what was difficult yesterday was just trying to eat everything even though I'm full. And there used to be a point in time where I was never full. So this is, like, brand new. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, uh, I still have two more meals to eat and I'm stuffed. Like, yesterday I did a cup of quinoa a cup of red lentils, and then a cup of broccoli with broccoli with corn, frozen broccoli and frozen corn. And halfway through that, I was full. But I forced myself to finish eating it because I was like, I have to get my calories in. Like I cannot, I cannot not eat the calories. So yesterday I only ate 1400 calories, which is under my goal by 200 because I try to stick between 1600 calories and 1800 calories so today I'm just gonna try harder to just it's hard to like force yourself to eat when you're not hungry and it's so crazy because I used to never have a problem with that (laughs) I would never I was always eating even though I knew I wasn't hungry just eating just to eat right but just because it was habit it was enjoyment and I would eat full all the time Now, it's, like, it's so hard to eat when I'm full. Like, it's the most uncomfortable feeling ever. Maybe it's because now I'm eating whole foods versus, like, before when I was overweight, I was eating processed foods. Maybe that's where the difference lies. I don't know. But trying to eat more food, especially food that's full of fiber, is so hard. Like, it is so hard. It is so hard. It's uncomfortable. And that's what I found myself trying to do yesterday and failed. So I think what I I saw someone said they set alarms when it's time to eat. I might try that because like I said, when I get in my zone, when I start working, the time just goes like that. I'm sure you have an activity too where as soon as you start doing whatever that activity is, you're so locked into that that you can be locked into that for hours and hours and not even realize it and then by the time you do look at the time five hours have passed six hours have passed like especially when you're doing something that you like to do like I've told y'all I love making content I love now I don't really like editing but I don't mind it it's not like I'm like oh let me edit this video this is gonna be a great edit that I don't really like that But, (laughs) but I do love recording and making content I do love that I love to sit in front of the camera and just talk to y'all about things that I'm going through, things that I've gone through, you know, goals and all of the things. I do enjoy that. But like sitting there and editing, I'll piece some stuff together. As y'all, y'all see how I edit. I don't really do all of that. And I noticed y'all like it when I just let it go. Like I don't do any like jump cuts or I noticed y'all like that and I like it too because it's just it's just raw like whatever's recorded is what y'all gonna see and what y'all gonna hear you know it just is what it is but I hit record we we live baby we live so you know but I, I I noticed like when I start uploading stuff to my computer and stuff I just get I just get locked in and in my zone that I don't realize how much time has passed 
and then it's like, oh shit, like I have to try to squeeze in two meals in two hours before I miss my window. And I don't want to change my window because of the time in which I go to the gym in the morning. So because I'm like at 8.30 a.m., well, this week I was more like a 9 a.m. or <laughs> I used to be at 8.30 a.m. or it's like it's slowly getting later and later. But no, because I am pretty much ready to start working out at 9, between 9 a.m. and 9.30 a.m., I have to get my meal in by 8 so that one, it has time to digest, and two, I'm just, I don't want to feel hungry at the gym. So that's why I eat the way I eat. And I know that if I come earlier than 8 a.m., because I'm up, like I said, my alarm goes off at like 5.30. If I come earlier than 8, it's going to be really crowded in here. And I've tried it. It is really crowded in here. That's why I was shocked as to why it was crowded. Because I'm like, it's 9 o'clock. Like, why, why is everybody here, you know? So, oh, wow, it was really raining. But anyways, um, yeah, so just something I experienced this morning. Just got a, I'm a, I'm a set an alarm. <laughs> got a set an alarm to eat. That's crazy. That's crazy. Set an alarm to eat. Like, what the fuck? Like, what is my life coming to? <laughs> Got a set an alarm to eat. Never would have thought I would hear that in my life. Set an alarm to eat. Wow. <laughs> that sounds crazy as fuck. But it's true because otherwise I'm going to forget to eat. Who would have thought that there would be a point in my life where I would forget to eat? Y'all, if y'all knew me, if I was doing this to years ago bruh you would have thought I didn't know how to stop eating and here I am telling y'all I gotta set an alarm to eat no that's growth <laughs> that's growth what the fuck man what the fuck <laughs> my 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 a complete 180 a totally different person I tell I'm telling y'all I wish I was on YouTube before like like consistently, if y'all knew, I always had something in my mouth. Pause. Like always, always. Like that's crazy. But yeah, man, that's it. I don't have any Memorial Day plans for real. I might get on the grill, but I don't know because because everybody's gonna be off. It might just be crowded. I don't know, y'all. One thing I noticed: I don't like to be around a lot of people no more. Like I really don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was low-key like trying to tell y'all like the gym was really crowded today it just like <laughs> didn't lower my energy like I'm still in good spirits but I was just like I don't even really want to be here no, it's just too many people like it was just too many people around like ugh. and then they was doing everything moving stuff it was just a lot going on it was it was just a lot going on for me so you know, whatever. We got through it. It is what it is. If y'all want to see what we did yesterday for chest, shoulders, and triceps, make sure y'all click right here. I'm going to eat my overnight oats real quick. Go home. Set a timer so I can make sure I eat. <laughs> and don't forget. And I will see you guys tomorrow bright and early for glutes. Bye, you guys.